President Tinubu makes fresh promise to Nigerians. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has made has reassured his administration will focus on providing adequate security for Nigerians in every part of the country. Niger News reports that the president stated this while speaking at the graduation of Course 45 of the Armed Forces Command and Staff College, Jaji, Kaduna State. Tinubu, a former Lagos State Governor, pledged more support for the military as he commended them for protecting the territorial integrity of the nation. The president, who also congratulated the graduating officers, described the military officers serving Nigeria as the best group of people out of the over 200 million citizens of the country. 291 participants graduated and were conferred with the past staff course honor. Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave your own opinions in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe as I check out what other people have to say about this. You think you are still doing campaign? Every day promise, promise, promise. Will you get out of that stolen mandate? It is like the president thinks that the political campaign is still on. Somebody tell him it is time for serious business. I'm not surprised I was the INF chairman that put him there. Almighty God grant you wisdom, knowledge and understanding to carry out fulfillment of all you have promised for Nigeria. I am proud of them too, well-organized, experienced, articulated and results-oriented. Nasoso promised and failed since 2015, and yet some hopeless idiots are still believing and waiting. This man should go to sleep and let have peace of mind. This your tenure looks like Hollywood movies. Ibo iPod agenda will not work. Continue to abuse Mr. President till eternity. This man is just interested in becoming the president by all means necessary not because he has anything to offer but everything to steal nigerians need good governance we are people who will have ha will have comfortable life to live without hardship we need full subsidy removal to be reviewed mr tinubu we don't need your promise for security just promise us you will return the mandate you stole and go. Keep these promises in your mind. We have had numerous unfilled, unfulfilled promises. Don't add to them. Consult with the populace and get down from your high horse to feel what it is like to be with them. That will make you think better. Distance yourself from sycophants and lobbyists that are after their greedy interest. Nigerians don't need any promises of any kind again, because all the promises Buhari made to Nigerian people were not fulfilled. For another APC president like Buhari to come again and be making promises is like mocking the good people of Nigeria. It is easier said than done. And so, promises made by the APC politicians, including those of Mr. President, as deceitful and should not be taken seriously because the promises can't be redeemed, like we saw Buhari do. For example, when Buhari took office in 2015, he promised to defeat Boko Haram in less than six months. It didn't happen till the eight years he was office. Instead, other terrorists like bandits, kidnappers, Iswap, ISIS, Fulani, herdsmen, AK-47 carrying terrorists, and unknown gunmen emerged and terrorized Nigerians for good eight years of Buhari's stay in office as president. Tinubu is an APC president and should not give us any more promise like Buhari did because he will also fail like Buhari. 
birds of the same feather flock together. Tell this man Nigeria is not Lagos. We don't need rhetorics. We are tired of you already. Tinubu thinks Nigerians are stupid. I can see he is the worst thing that has ever been into this country. He, I heard he has increased federal college fees. Sometimes I wonder whether he has a brain at all or he wants everyone to die. I pray for a rerun election so that Nigerians can correct this mistake once and for all. Truly, Peter Obi is the answer to Nigeria's problem. Surprises me that this sick, dementia, old hag criminal, a mandate stealer, has no single shame for propelling this orangutan self as president, and it will never end well with his Malu supporters. Some section of the country have dominated this opera news small thing with the reign of causes and abuses. No money, no lights, no food, no fuel. Fuel price increased. Country is not happy with this horrible change. Try and change the gear to easy life for the masses. Tinubu got nothing or good promise. You can't give what you don't have. Go and sleep. We don't need your promise. Just get out from that seat. Oh God, this is not the time of making promises. It's a time of action because you made money during the campaign. The only fresh promise from Tinubu to Nigerians is to increase our suffering or increase more killings. You have nothing to offer for Nigerians. Return what is stolen. That is the only way. Emilokon Jagaban Tinubu government, Abegi, 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 make you do something serious for all Nigerian, all land speaking is in general, both home and abroad. Nigerians are seriously dying and seriously crying for all these bad leaderships, politicians, politics games, Niger nowadays, and then governments, Emilokon Jagaban Tinubu, governments. Nigerians are fully tired of you more and more deceiving by all your normal criminals, all fools deceiving us in Niger by who have all the grace to be poly- to be Nigeria's president. Nobi Sereseru, Baba Godu, Emilio Kondragaban Tinubu, do fast and do something in times. Things will never go well with Tinubu's government. Well, these people have all given their opinions on this. Make sure to leave your own opinions in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to share this video with your family and friends so that they